Okay, so let's finish off the non-charged amino acids. Um, so we're going to look at two aromatic amino acids first. So this looks similar to phenylalanine if you compare it. Whoops, NH3 plus C O O minus. You have this guy. You got a bend, and then. Again, like I said, this looks a lot like phenylalanine, except let me get rid of this non-charged. So we have more room. There's an OH group here. All right, this is called tyrosine. And so because we have a hydroxyl group on this uh, side chain now, this goes even though this is also an, America, uh, an aromatic amino acid like tryptophan or phenylalanine, uh, because the hydroxyl group is there, we consider this polar, okay? Um, and so the last um, aromatic amino acid, or we'll, we'll just go ahead and draw the last aromatic amino acid then, is histidine. All right, this has Alpha carbon or stereochemistry of a bend, and then we have a five membered ring. It looks like this. Okay. Nitrogen over here, that's double bonded, and a nitrogen of a hydrogen. Okay. So this is called histidine, which has a three letter code of HIS and a one letter code of H. And so this is actually what we consider a basic amino acid. So this is also considered a charged amino acid because this nitrogen can be protonated with a pKa of 6.0, all right? So this would be the protonated form, and then the non-protonated form would just be the nitrogen, okay? So these round out the last two of the, the aromatic amino acids. And since we have a uh, one basic amino acid, let's do the other two basic amino acids. So the next one will be lysine. So we start again, how we always start, alpha amine, alpha carbon, alpha carboxylate, stereochemistry, one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, four carbons, and then on the fifth bend, we have an amine. And again, just like the alpha amine, at physiological pH, this tends to be protonated. And we call this guy lysine. Lysine, L-Y-S, is the three-letter code. The one-letter code is K. All right, and even though I, I know I told you we were going to finish the non-charge, but now we're uh, into finishing the charged amino acids. So we have a basic amino acid, we have another basic amino acid. These have these positive charges on them, right? And then we're going to do the last one, which is arginine, and is a tricky guy to draw. So N H. Actually, let's start lower. Alpha amine, alpha carbon, alpha carboxylate, stereochemistry, and then we go three carbons. Yep. One, two, three. So one, two, three. This one is a nitrogen. All right. Carbon, ooh, I'm gonna draw this. Let me get this geometry down. Otherwise, this is gonna look ugly. Where'd it go? Arginine, arginine, there you are. So, nitrogen, 
one, two, three. And then you have your nitrogen. And then I guess we'll do it like this. Yeah, this is probably the easiest way to do it. Come on. It's an amateur hour. Ah. My apologies. Let's try this again. There. Boom. There we go. Carbon. H2 and a double bond in nitrogen. So this entire thing is collectively called an amido or a guanidino group, excuse me. And that also has a positive charge. Okay. This last one is called arginine. Which has the ARG three-letter code and the one-letter code of R. Okay, so that uh, concludes our uh, basic amino acids. So all of these are considered basic amino acids. And then this is a nonpolar, or excuse me, this is a polar non-charged amino acid over here.